Hi, I'm back at the Birdhaven greenhouse. The swap is going on in the other room, and yes, I'm out in the greenhouse, and I was getting so much inspiration, not only for the gardening world outside, but also for aquascaping. Believe it or not, I get a lot of my inspiration at garden centers and greenhouses such as this one. So, you know what, I thought that I would do a video to share all of the different ways that I get inspiration from basically anywhere. Hope you enjoy the video and at least hopefully you enjoy all of the plants. All right, tip number one. Yes, I say start with a rock, just a single rock. I'm a professional rock collector and that can really start your scape off really great. It also hides roots and holds the, the roots down too sometimes. Now this one is a 20 gallon long that I set up and this bare, it looks kind of like a bare print in that rock. And until I added that rock, I had a hard time with the scape. The second tip I have for you, texture. From the gardening world, it's a natural to, oh, to kind of add texture by using different plants because all the plants are generally green and it just adds a whole lot more interest. So when you're aquascaping, just using two or three different plants can add a whole lot of interest to your scape. This is something that inspired me. Yes, a lot of the terrestrial world does inspire my aquascapes, and this is one of them. You'll have to stay tuned to see how I knock this one off. Number three, just a reminder, try to add immersed plants. These are plants that the roots are in the water and the plants come out of the water. You can add so much dimension and interest into your tank. This is papyrus that you see, and I add also some hydrocodal. There's grasses, anything that you can add in the tank or around the tank, or as we like to do in the pond world, which is very similar to both the terrestrial and the aquatic worlds. It's like the joining of both worlds. Now, speaking of ponds, number four, if you do love to look down into ponds, I suggest try a pond. Even a pond style scape in an aquarium can work out really great because you're looking down into it. Keep in mind where you're placing the tank to make sure that you do have a good viewing point looking down. That's kind of what I did. I, I set up a pond in our backyard and it's just a small pond, but I love looking down and observing the little fish looking down and not into a tank. Number five, I would highly recommend when you're out and about either at a fish store or even a greenhouse or a garden center, look at the plants, see which ones you like, and then do your research. See what they are, what are they called, what kind of parameters do they like, how do they uh, do well in, and then try them out. Order them, find them in a store and just try them out. What's the worst that can happen? They die, that's okay. In the gardening world, we have a saying, you gotta kill something three times before you succeed. And just think of all the things you're gonna learn about this plant as you trial and error it. Now this was hydrocodal. I did see it at the greenhouse and then I said, I have to have it. I researched it, yes, I bought it online and there we go, I put it into my pond and I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. It's, it's a plant like Creeping Jenny where you can use it in a planter, you can use it in a pond, and you can even just immerse it into a tank. Love this plant, and there's so many more that you can find. Even like that little horsetail rush, that's really fun. And other little grasses and the papyrus. Now th these next two are just little tips to keep in mind. As you practice, have a spot that you like to practice in. Have an area that you can get a little dirty. You can have it inside, outside and it'll just really help practicing your scaping. The other tip, the final tip is have somewhere to sit by your tank. Choose where you're going to put your tank, your scape anywhere so that you can actually observe it and appreciate it. So those are my tips. Hopefully they shed some light on the aquascaping experience and I just wanted to make it a little simpler to get some, some ideas. So hopefully you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.